What are your thoughts on uh, Hollywood buying up, you know, a lot of the rights to different animes, but they're uh, whitewashing the whole cast? What's your thoughts on that? I mean, I don't really like the concept behind it, but I understand why they do it. Do you think what they do is kind of racist? What are your thoughts on that? A little bit. If the character is traditionally Japanese, they should be portrayed by someone of Asian descent. I think it's a little racist. I wouldn't say it's racist. I would say they're just trying to appeal to their main market. Okay. I can't really fault people for that. It's definitely not a racist thing. I think if the creators are fine with it, then that's fine. It's like it's an artistic interpretation. It's art, so of course it's going to make people mad, right? It actually riles me up a lot. I've been really upset about the subject ever since she got announced. Why would you cast a white girl as a Japanese character? It kind of reminds me of. Emma Stone when she played a half Chinese, half Hawaiian woman, and I was like, but, but she's white. Hey everyone, this is Jeff Kong with ABC's Attraction. Today we're at Anime Expo asking the fans whether or not it's okay for Hollywood to whitewash anime movies, such as Ghost in the Shell, where they're putting Scarlett Johansson as the main character. Uh, let's go check it out. I don't know that they're necessarily being racist. Mm -hmm. But I think they're just finding a new way to market it to yeah. more American white culture who don't understand it. And by doing that, they just wash out everything that is Japanese and that is the culture, just so that you know white Americans can swallow it. So, but it, it loses all of its charms. I think that whitewashing a character that initially should were is portrayed Asian shouldn't really happen. Uh, we have plenty of Asian actors. There's no need to place into a white actor. I think it really depends. In some way, it, it's sort of an almost subconscious racism. Um, yeah, it definitely can, especially because there isn't much representation for Asians in mainstream media to begin with. On the other hand, I see it as it's money-making, marketing. They want the big names. So Scarlett Johansson, she's huge. So of course, stick her in a popular movie series as a well-known, beloved character. That's a money maker. People love ScarJo and that they're gonna go out to see her movies, any movie it is. So I don't think it's necessarily a racism thing. I think it's, it's definitely money. a money thing. Why would you take more parts away from people who already don't get parts? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. It can be conceived as racist, yes. Uh, as much as I love Scarlett Johansson, I think she's a fantastic actress. There are definitely a lot of Asian actresses that I think could have filled the part. I think it would just be more authentic if you had a, a proper Asian actor doing that. And I think also Scarlett Johansson, she's very popular and her voice is very recognizable. Mm -hmm. And personally, I don't like uh, any animation that has famous actors doing the voice roles because you see it as the voice actor, not as the person. I prefer voice actors that can do a lot of different roles. There are certain characters in animes that are portrayed as coming from England or things like that. And in those cases, I think it's appropriate. I think the huge issue that I have with the Ghost in the Shell one is the fact that it is based in Japan and she's supposed to have like this face that blends in with everyone and then it's Scarlett Johansson, right. a white woman, who is going to stand out so much and it takes away from the story and it takes away from like giving the opportunity to, to somebody who like could make a name for themselves. Taking away a role that definitely could have gone to someone um, that would have been able to portray it just as well, if not slightly more authentically than Scarlett Johansson. Because everyone's like, oh, well, there's no one big enough, like, with the name to, like, give the part to who's, like, a, a person of color. Well, that's because we keep giving the parts to white people. Like, it's not even a problem with just, like, anime movies. Even in, like, things like Prince of Egypt that came out recently, they whitewashed the entire cast, threw a tan on them, and called it good. Well, in this specific case, I do know that the creator of Ghost in Shell said he actually intended the character to be white. Oh, yeah, he did. Okay. Which, uh, of, of course, they could totally use Japanese actors. That would be awesome. But I, th I don't think it's a problem that they use it if that's the way it was intended to be. I don't know. It's up to how people interpret it, I guess. Yeah, I really think that you should use, uh, you know, Japanese actors for Japanese roles. That's no change from the, like, hundreds of years Hollywood's been around and been completely racist. Uh -huh. You could say that the general populace is racist because they don't want to see a movie with the main but character that's a minority. I absolutely think it's racist, yeah. Absolutely. And their excuse is, well, no one would go see the movie if it didn't have, like, a big name actress, but I think we all know that that's not the case. Like, all anime fans would go see the movie. It has an audience already. It's a popular anime series. So you don't need to put, like, a white actress in it just for that reason. There are so many amazing and talented Asian actresses that you could use. Subconscious racism, but also opportunistic. So, 
The conclusion is, we've asked all the anime fans whether they thought it was okay for Hollywood to whitewash all the anime movies. Most of them said it was not okay. So Hollywood, listen up, if you're watching this, please hire more Asian actors and put them in roles where it makes sense where the characters, especially anime characters, are based in Asia. Thanks. Hey there, thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back for that every Monday. Oh, and if that's not enough for you, remember that for the last 10 years, the ABCs of Attraction have been the finishing school for Asian gentlemen. So we've been teaching guys how to be better boyfriends, more confident, and better husbands. If you need that extra push, you can enroll in one of our classes. But until then, we'll see you every Monday. Bye.